Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to get into safe mode and run a system restore on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. Two different methods I'm going to go through and how to do it. First one would be to open up the start menu and type in msconfig. Best match should say system configuration right above desktop app. You want to left click on that. And now you want to go to where it says boot, go up to the boot tab, and then left click inside the safe boot area underneath boot options, so that would be check marked, and then you would select network at the bottom here, and then you would click on apply and OK. So I'm going to exit without a restart, but when you restart your computer you'd end up in safe mode. Another way would be to go over to the start menu, left click on it, and then while holding down the shift key on your keyboard, left click on the power icon and then left click on restart again while holding down the shift key. You can achieve the same result on the lock screen of Windows as well as there is another power icon and again you would just hold down the shift key while selecting restart. So if you're unable to boot into the normal Windows environment but you're able to get to the lock screen like where you'd insert your computer password there would be another button down there at the bottom right corner and you could just hold down the shift key while left clicking on restart as well. So again, I'm holding down shift, but as you can see, I also made that change in msconfig as well. So underneath choose an option, you want to left click on troubleshoot here, reset your PC or see advanced options. Select advanced options again, and now you want to select startup settings, which will change Windows startup behavior, and then left click on the restart button. At this point, I would tap the F5 key or Function 9 key at the top of my keyboard to enable safe mode with networking. Just read what it says on your screen in case it's a little bit different, but I'm going to select F5 in my case. So again, just be patient. Okay, so if you have a password enabled on your computer, you want to insert it now if you need it to log in. And there we go, guys. Now we're in safe mode. So I would recommend if you did the msconfig method, I would recommend going back to the start menu and typing in msconfig now that we're in safe mode. Go back into the system configuration here. And then go back to the boot tab. And I'd recommend unchecking safe boot here. So that means your computer will not automatically restart into safe mode next time. If you did the power and the shift method, your computer will not automatically start into the safe mode. If you did the msconfig method, it would, unless you go back in and uncheck safe boot, which I just did. And then click on apply and OK. I'm going to exit without restart, of course. You don't want to exit without restart. We haven't done anything yet. I'm going to open up the start menu, type in system recovery. Best match should say recovery right above control panel. You want to left click on that. And then you want to select Open System Restore, undo recent system changes, but leaves files such as documents, pictures, and music unchanged. I'm going to select that. So if you recently did a system restore, you can undo it by selecting the first option. If you don't see a screen that looks like this, I'm just going to move on here. You might see a screen that more likely looks like this. I would recommend selecting the most recently created restore point, and then selecting Next, and then select Finish here. It's going to be prompted that System Restore cannot be interrupted once started. You want to continue. You want to select yes at this point. And this will take some time, so you just want to be patient here.
Okay guys, so it looks like we're good. I'm going to sign into our computer here. Our computer has restarted into the normal Windows operating environment since we turned off that MS configuration thing that we did in order to get in the safe mode. Just want to really make that point because you're just going to keep going in the safe mode every time you restart your computer if you did that one method. That's why I prefer the shift method as a first resort. And if the shift does not work for you, you can try a different method. So it should say system restore is completed successfully. Click close and you should be good to go guys. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.